Hello world, hope you're doing well. If not, hope it gets better for you. Quick tip video for you guys, let's get into it. All right, so many of you guys that have followed me know the living room quarantine area and this tank over here, which I recently did a video on, but this is what it used to look like, which is cool. It's got a whole jungle feel, jungle vibe to it. I love it, I love it like that. But now this is what it looks like. Boom. So let's talk about this and what's going on and what the tip is really. So when it comes to aquascaping, when you can add depth into an aquarium as far as the way that you present it. So you see how I got this log here. I've got plants on it to accent it. But back there, I've got same thing, twig, plant, accent it. I got depths of plants going on. So you could do that with carpet mid ground and uh foreground plants which it'll be like your tall stems see how there's some dimension here and it's hard to see and the thing is and when you've got all these different angles that you can play i put in layer layer there was more layers in between here this tank's actually from the fluval aquascaping contest 2017 so the wood and things have had time to pretty much season and settle but even as you look into the side here here you can see the rocks and then the sticks they all create different layers and yes i got bba in here i don't I'm not ashamed of my algae. And another way to create depth into an aquarium is to have bigger rocks, smaller rocks, and then even smaller rocks. That way you kind of blend it naturally to create more layers of depth within an aquascape. So main tip, one of the biggest backbone to aquascaping. And you can see this tank really is not that wide. But looking at the front, it looks like it goes farther back than what it really does. It looks like that could keep just going on. Now, if I had something maybe back here, that could really set it off too. There you have it. Keep in mind the major backbone to any good aquascape is having layers, depth, and dimension. Anytime you can add that to an aquascape, you're winning. And this isn't even freshly manicured. I did this like maybe two weeks ago. I just didn't have time to video, make the video. But I wanted to share that tip with you guys. And to be honest, I just wanted to share this tank with you guys because I thought it looked cool. After I cleaned out all the pilo moss that was around and brought out some more of the fern. And I think it looks outstanding. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What would you do differently? Do you use this technique? And hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Also, you see up the top where I've got some wood coming out. Now, you could do a lot more. Like, this was just a little piece of wood stick out not much but if i wanted to put the razzle dazzle on i could you could do the whole wall you do a living wall plants coming out all that stuff and add depth within that it goes into that sort of feel too so anytime you put layers and layers and layers on layers and really the only true way to capture this beauty of this tank would be to do like close-ups of certain layers like i just had on there like there like in here look at that and get into here. And this Philippine fern is really good at naturally layering itself. I mean, you can see how it kind of grows off of itself. Close up. Oh wow, undershot works really good. Digging the undershot. You can really see the layer. And that's another thing too, think about the point in perspective where people are gonna see it the most. Of course, most tanks sit below eye level, so harder and trickier to design it for, but not impossible, definitely doable, many have. Oh, gotta go.